Harmony Express Schoolie episode 31. Episode 31, we're doing more work up on the roof and we'll talk a little bit about that as we move. Uh, it's time to get uh, power going for the bus and uh, start the beginnings of our rooftop deck. Well, hey there, what do we got here? A couple solar panels in the sun. So we actually have four of these panels. I got a screaming deal on them here in, uh, in Western Pennsylvania. Let me show you the specifics of them. And here they are, they're residential panels. If you look at them, um, they are 235 watt panels and their open circuit voltage is 37 volts. Um, the uh, voltage at power max, Pmax, um, is 29. So uh, my battery bank is a 24 volt battery bank, uh, but I'm actually gonna be doing, I'd say four panels. I'm gonna be doing two in series and two in parallel. So I'll have a, uh, a voltage at power max of uh, 30, so 60 roughly, a little less than 60 volts, um, and an amperage at 60 volts of 16 amps. Uh, going into my, my panel there, the total uh, wattage is um, 940 watts. Um, at 24 volts, that is just shy of uh, 40 amps. So I'm gonna have a 40 amp charge controller. Um, if I ever decide to expand it, I will get a second charge controller. So, so that's where we're going. Um, let me show you what the voltage does in the sun. So solar panels are pretty cool um, in that uh, they have these two wires coming out and one side is a positive and one side is a negative and um, when you connect them in series, they have these these pan these uh, connectors. They're called MC4 connectors, and those are um, uh, obviously male and female, so you can't mix up the polarity. So now, when I connect those two together, uh, we should see somewhere um, in the 30 volt range, 35 volt range, because there's no load on these. Let's see what it looks like. So you see, we're sitting here on uh, DC voltage. I'm gonna connect up here. It's really kind of hard to get those to go in there and get that, but we will get voltage. There we are, stable at 34.04 volts. So now I'm gonna connect two panels together and show you what that does. So now I have effectively two panels hooked together. The negative of one goes into the positive of the other. And so now let's see what the voltage does. All right, so now let's put the two of them together and see what we get. Sixty-eight volts, and that makes sense because we have two thirty-four volt panels making sixty-eight volts. So there we go. So now we have to figure out how to get four of these up there. So you see, I've got it all lined up. Now, as you see, I have that up there. I will tell you. I don't take responsibility if you do it the way I do it. I just take responsibility for myself. So it's how I'm mounting it. It's not necessarily how I'm telling everybody else to mount it. So you see up on top of there, we've got a 12 foot uh, two by six that is uh, attached to the roof and a 90 inch uh, two by six is going across. Um, I'm actually gonna put um, two, um, two by sixes across the middle to give extra bracing points. The solar panels are gonna be attached down by um, by three attachment points on each side. So three brackets on each side. So I'll show you that. Here is the piece that I'm gonna use. Um, it's a 90 degree angle, it's reinforced. Um, I'm going to open these up because I don't wanna use wood screws only to hold them down, I'm afraid of tear up. So I'm gonna open up each of these holes on this side and one in the middle to quarter inch. And quarter inch bolts will go down through the braces um, on, the, uh, on the roof and then a quarter inch bolt, uh, galvanized bolt, will be going through the side of the solar panel. So once I get that rolling, I'll show you how that works, how that's all set up, and uh, we'll show you how it mounts. So this is mimicking pretty close to what's on the roof. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna have two sets like this. This is 68 inches apart between there, and the center of this one is at uh, 34 inches uh, in between. So I'm trying to figure out now where and how I'm going to attach those clips. Um, I do want to lift them just ever so slightly off of the uh, off of the the wood, so there's a little bit of clearance there all the way around. But there's all obviously clearance underneath the whole thing um, as we have it mounted on the roof. So 
I'm gonna do my gazintas and my configuring and all that stuff and kind of go from there. So I've gotten all of my brace pieces uh, up on the on the deck. Um, I have not attached the center uh, yet. That'll be when I get up on the roof tomorrow to work. So as you see, um, each one of those sets of three boards represents one solar panel um, with a center brace in the middle. And then the middle has the, the two joined there for the solar panels to sit on. Um, and then one there and one in the back. So let me show you how we have attached the braces on the panels. So we've used these uh, braces. I think I showed them in, a, in a, a clip. I've drilled out the center hole on one side and the uh, corner holes on the other side. The corner holes, those two pieces uh, or two parts will go on the, the two by sixes that I just showed you up on top of the deck. And this is attached, this is galvanized. Um, this will be attached to the corners of the uh, solar panels. I'll show you those. So on the panel, each one of these, there's three on a side, we'll get one of those on the inside and then a flat, then goes through the panel, then through this, then a flat, a lock, and a nylock nut. Those will go on there, and that's what they look like over here. So as you see, it comes up through, um, and I've drilled that. So I've put it right at the corners um, on both ends, and these panels are 65 inches tall. So I've gone 32 and a half inches and put that center brace on there. So we're getting her done. So then on the corners here, I take this and I line this edge up over here and they're gonna go in this groove that's right there. I take that and I line that up and mark. I do that on the other end. And get this one, this one lined up. Circle. There it goes. Quarter inch bolt, quarter inch drill bit. Okay, up on the roof. So I haven't put the uh, screws down the middle yet into the into the middle, but I will tell you. This is solid, solid as a rock. Um, so when we get the rest of the boards on, uh, going, there, going down the rest of the bus, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So you'll see we have coming up through the roof, that is going to be the vent for our um, gray water tank. And I have not yet sealed it to the roof, but sealant is coming. Um, that goes down through our utility closet, down into the underbelly storage and will connect into the gray water tank. You know, I've just heard too many people um, talking about smells, um, you know, with, with their vents underneath and, and stuff like that. So there you go. So it's upside down, but the uh, eco-worthy PV combiner box, that will combine, uh, we're gonna have two panels in series and then two panels in parallel. When you connect the two in series, uh, they become one giant panel and they will go into the input there. So we have two inputs there that'll be taken and then one wire comes out of there and goes through this gland connector down into the bus. Um, I've drilled a hole all the way down in through. I'll show you where that comes out um, after I get this installed, but I'm about to uh, butyl tape it and, uh, and seal it down. So here we go. All right, so we got that all down. You see we have a red and a black positive and negative wire coming. Um, it's got butyl tape underneath and Tex uh, uh, roofing screws, but I'm also going to put uh, a layer of this uh, sealing or the roofing tape on top of that to, uh, to seal that in. So we're going to do that next and close that off and uh, should be watertight, hopefully, hopefully. And then I've got some sealant that I've got to put on this as well. So I'm going to do that next. Okay, almost time for solar panels. That uh, is... Uh, nice and cocked in there with uh, that Henry's uh, roof sealant flashing and then um, that's in cable management comes over into our PV combiner box it's all ready to uh, hook up the solar panels the solar panels are sitting there it's about time to put some of those up here on the bus well it's the end of a weekend of a long weekend Thanksgiving weekend 
and um, we've not completely finished our job. Uh, we got the got the one solar panel um, laying up there, but we were defeated by fasteners that were just, in my opinion, substandard. So, gonna have to get more uh, fasteners and get them up there. But we got accomplished this weekend, really what we wanted to get accomplished, um, really primarily because it's turning to winter here. Got it done just in the nick of time. And I wanted to get all the sealant and things done up on that roof. Um, so, uh, so we were ready. You know, we can now work on the rest of it as time goes on. Um, you know, go from there. But um, so we got a, we got a lot done, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. It's it was a lot of great work. So you see that there's other brackets that continue along there on the back of the bus, down the road. The rest of the deck will continue back there. The front part of the deck is solar panel deck, and uh, the back part of the deck is fun deck. Again, thank you for uh, for riding along with us. This has been uh, this has been a lot of fun. Um, if you like what you see. Uh, go ahead and give it a like comment if there's something that you saw that um you know you think that that should be done differently or or you know just want to give a shout out and say hey nice job uh we'll we'll take those too but uh you know comment and subscribe and do all those things and everything from that side um so thanks again and we'll see you on the next harmony express cooling